Hello. <laughs> I'm so proud that I'm here. Uh, last year I was uh, in uh, on Webster University in uh, St. Louis, and we had the opportunity to talk uh, about uh, Jewish-Muslim relationships uh, in uh, Bosnia, in Sarajevo. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm made my PhD on uh, Holocaust in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and uh, I'm, it's possible to say, some expert about uh, righteous, among, uh, righteous among the nations uh, in Bosnia, and especially about uh, all what happened uh, with the Jews uh, on Bal in Balkan, uh, not just in Bosnia. I will try today to talk a little bit about the coming Jews to Bosnia, to Sarajevo, uh, about uh, their relationships with the local populations, and uh, how it's going on uh, during the World War II. Actually, what happens in the Holocaust, and uh, how many people survived, how they survived, they, where they were, and so. And uh, we will, uh, I will try just uh, to conclude with uh, some sentences about the Jewish community in Sarajevo today. First of all, uh, Jews, uh, uh, first Jews uh, came to Sarajevo from uh, Spain and Portugal. You know, after expulsions, in 1492, they don't uh, came straight. They came uh, from uh, different sides. And uh, as you know, today, the uh, first group uh, came uh, uh, about uh, 1530s. It was a group of about uh, 30 Jewish families from uh, Budapest, from uh, actually from Portugal, Sephardic, Sephardic Jews from Portugal. These Sephardic Jews uh, came on invitation of the Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, who invited them to come to Ottoman Empire to be a part of it and to live there after they won on the Battle of Mohaj in 1526. Uh, they came here and they, they came to Sarajevo, they established first community, but uh, we don't know exactly from this time because nobody make, uh, made some uh, research, deep, deep uh, research about it. And we don't know how they stay in Sarajevo, but we know that after the 20 years, it was uh, uh, many cases uh, on the court connected with the Jews. And uh, it uh, actually tell us that, uh, that uh, there are many, uh, there were many Jews in this time in Sarajevo. Okay, what happened uh, before? Uh, Jews were, uh, lived in, uh, in Spain together with the Arabs and the Catholics, and they actually made uh, one, uh, uh, you know, uh, very development uh, uh, state country, uh, the best one in Europe in this time. When uh, decided uh, uh, to make this uh, Edict uh, King uh, uh, Queen, Elis uh, Queen Isabel and, and Ferdinand. Actually, they didn't know what uh, they do. They just uh, just uh, uh, they wanted to make uh, some something on the Inquisition court uh, to to uh, have uh, just Catholics in in their country. But uh, 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 there is uh, some legend about it that after this edict, what happened? Uh, first, we just said that uh, the Sultan, uh, Sultan uh, Bayezid II, uh, in this time, uh, he decided to invite uh, also Jews to come to Ottoman Empire. And uh, a leader said that uh, he sent his ships to Spain to take Jews to Ottoman Empire. We don't know is it really, but we know there is uh, some uh, letter that he said uh, that uh, King Ferdinand then thinks uh, for himself that he is uh, actually a very clever man, but how he can, uh, you know, uh, uh, release Jews from, from the Spain. Because, uh, you know, what happened after this, on an economical level, uh, Spain is starting to go down. 
Okay, uh, this is the first time. Why is it so important? Because uh, Jews, uh, they have a good experience with a uh, multi-religious life in Spain. Uh, first of all, with the Arabs, and second, with the Catholics. And they came to Sarajevo, where the uh, most population were Muslims. Not just Muslims, they were also Orthodox, but for them it was so, you know, uh, without any uh, difference between what was uh, in Spain and what happened after this in, uh, in Bosnia, in Sarajevo. And they, because they didn't come straight from Spain to Sarajevo, they came from Istanbul, from Solun, Solun from uh, Sofia, from Skopje, and they actually, they came like uh, Turkish citizens and uh, with a good knowledge uh, of Turkish language. And uh, they started to be in the moment they were, where they come, of first interpreters for Turkish language in, in Bosnia, in Sarajevo. And they help people, uh, you know, to translate many documents to, com to uh, in com uh, co uh, correlation with the, with the governments and so on. And they uh, started to be very, very fast, uh, 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 it's possible to say, local populations. That's important because you have to know that uh, uh, there were any ghetto in Bosnia during the history of Jews in Bosnia. And uh, we don't know, uh, except, uh, of course, World War II, we don't know uh, what is uh, anti-Semitism because there is no anti-Semitism in Bosnia. And there, is no, there wasn't, and there is no today. Uh, it's, uh, you know, many systems of the day were from Ottoman Empire to Austro-Hungarian Empire, from Kingdom of Yugoslavia, Socialistic State of Yugoslavia, and now Bosnia, and, uh, uh, and the status of Jews was uh, all the time on a very high level and with very good relationships with uh, others. That actually, uh, 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 during World War II, it was very important because uh, uh, others, you know, the non-Jews, they actually saved Jews, many Jews, uh, during World War II. Uh, how is uh, actually starting everything that connected with the World War II, because uh, I'm not, uh, I'm, I don't want to, to talk uh, about history, Jews, because uh, this is a, some special lecture, uh, and uh, this uh, common life, and uh, okay, I, I will mention just one uh, case, uh, I think that you have to know. <coughs> Actually, it was uh, 1819. Uh, you will find uh, some uh, facts about it on the exhibition outside, uh, that actually people of Sarajevo, Muslims, they say Jews from um, Pasha, you know, Pasha is a, was a go governor, governor of Bosnia. He actually made a blackmail to Jews. Uh, if they don't, he arrested the 10 well-known Jews together with the Rabbi Moshe Danon. And they made a blackmail and said, if you don't uh, bring to, to, until tomorrow 500 uh, sacks of gold coins, I will kill you. Uh, it was uh, terrible. And uh, a leader said that one uh, of the my ancestor, Raphael Levy, he goes uh, all around uh, uh, in a town to talk with the uh, Muslims how to help, how to help uh, Jews uh, in, uh, in the jail. Uh, how to release them, and they actually decided to send some delegation to Pasha and to ask from him to release Jews from the jail. And uh, they sent first, uh, first delegation and their soldiers starting to shoot because they fear that what, what, what uh, can be with uh, some delegation, people you know with the uh, with weapons coming to the Pasha, to Pasha and at the end, they back again, and second time, Pasha under pressure, uh, decided to release Jews from the jail. Uh, he released Jews from the jail, and uh, uh, from this time, uh, Jews in Sarajevo celebrated one special Purim, Sarajevo's Purim. 
a Purim, you know, this is some, uh, some uh, holiday that talks about uh, liberation Jews from the Persian uh, slavers. And uh, we celebrated it every year. This is very important because people of Sarajevo stay here. Now we have uh, uh, more situations about uh, this relation that happened uh, hundred and more years after in World War II that also happened that people of Sarajevo saved Jews. I'm talking about this first case from 1819 because uh, you have to know if we are talking about all Purims in the world. It was more than 100 Purims in many, many cities, not, not just in Sarajevo. And uh, just in this case, we have a situation that the people say Jews. You know, not some, you know, some governor, not some, some uh, well-known man, and uh, some case and uh, some destiny and so. People of Sarajevo, they say Jews in 1819. This is a unique case that's never happened in, uh, in the world uh, if we are going to talk about Jewish destiny and about celebration of this kind of Purim, Purim Katan. And uh, uh, this is important because we will see after what happened in, uh, in the, during the history with, uh, in our relationships. Uh, during World War II, uh, actually before World War II, in Sarajevo were about uh, 12 and half thousand Jews. It was about 20% uh, of all population. And the Jews uh, were involved in, in all economic development of, the, of Sarajevo. Actually, I think about this 20% they actually had about 80% uh, of all industry economy of, of the city of Sarajevo. And uh, many uh, people of Sarajevo were employed in their uh, companies, factories, shops, and so on. And they, uh, like uh, uh, many of us, they are trying to help uh, uh, to people uh, to, to establish his business and so on. And because of, of this, uh, they were very popular between uh, local populations. Uh, one case that happened uh, in 1940, uh, be, uh, just a moment before starting World War II in, in Bosnia, in Yugoslavia, Kingdom of Yugoslavia, uh, intellectual people uh, decided to publish some book about uh, Jews of Yugoslavia. And uh, this book uh, has a title, uh, Our Jews. And uh, the well-known uh, intellectuals uh, wrote uh, articles in this book. One of them was a man who, after the war, uh, who during the war made, made uh, very important things for, for Jews, first of all. And the second, after war, he was uh, you know, uh, he get the title Reicher among the nation. This man was uh, uh, Korkut, uh, Dervish Korkut. He was a curator of National Museum in Sarajevo. He wrote uh, before it uh, about Jews, about what actually has in this National Museum, what uh, they, for that they knows actually uh, what kind of treasure they have. And in this uh, article, what he wrote uh, in this uh, book, he said uh, at the end of the article, he wrote, and the Jews, they don't know how they are local populations. Actually, it was a point uh, uh, very important because uh, from, from this point, we see that Jews were equal with others. Uh, you know, we are talking about 19... 40, and you know what happened during, before World War II and during the, war, the beginning of World War II and Holocaust to Jews in Europe, and uh, what actually was in Bosnia. In Bosnia, in this time, and uh, at the beginning of the war, we don't know what is anti-Semitism. We didn't know. That's also important to know, because, uh, you know, although all, about all, uh, all these relations with the local population, uh, when uh, 
start the war, begin war. It was uh, actually 10 in April 1941. And uh, it was established uh, the independent state of Croatia, uh, actually uh, Yugoslavia, King Kingdom of Yugoslavia was divided. On one side was a Croatia, independent state of Croatia. On another side was uh, Serbia, who was uh, under the Nazi. And they have uh, their own system and different. You know, the, the laws, it was the same, Nazi law. But it was how they uh, was in every state, it was different. And because of, uh, of people, because of people who live there, who help or not help, or bystander, you know. And uh, uh, we, we actually were very lucky. They, they were many people in Bosnia. They, they want to be bystander. Uh, uh, me, uh, in, uh, in the I tend, uh, 10th of April, starting uh, the war in Bosnia, and the 20th of April, uh, it was the first law against uh, Jews in the independent state of Croatia. You know, racing, war, racing law, and what was forbidden, what to do. And after seven days, another law about yellow pass. After seven days, another law. Uh, it's forbidden to Jews to go to cinema. After a few days, another law. You can you can uh, read it, everything in some uh, Sarajevo's newspaper. That uh, every time that uh, has some law, they announce this law in uh, in the in the newspapers, and people know uh, what what was forbidden. And uh, it's starting to they actually starting to develop theory of anti-Semitism in Bosnia. That actually was, a, I, can, I can say, strange body in Bosnia. But actually, they uh, go with the stories of the, uh, what the uh, Jews uh, they did, especially uh, what I uh, uh, want to say, this is uh, they made some exhibitions that connected, anti-Semitic exhibitions that connected with the, with the Jews. Uh, and uh, what they are, where they are, and so, and uh, but it wasn't, uh, you know, not at the beginning of the war in Bosnia. It was uh, next year in 1942. What happened be between uh, April 1941 uh, to the September of uh, 1942, where uh, this exhibition will uh, was open. Uh, was open. Actually, it was a, a, a situation that after those first uh, laws that uh, we have about anti about uh, anti-Semitism against Jews and uh, everything what was forbidden, uh, starting first uh, concentration camp in Bosnia. A first concentration camp in Bosnia was uh, in August uh, 1941. It was uh, not so far from Sarajevo, about 60 kilometers from Sarajevo. And the uh, reason was uh, so, you know, simple and uh, not so understanding. Uh, actually, it was uh, one uh, Ustasha's commander. Uh, he came with his Ustasha's to Sarajevo. Ustasha, uh, is, this is a soldier of the uh, independent state of Croatia. We don't know. And uh, he came to Sarajevo, and he has a problem where to put his uh, soldiers. And uh, he decided to take out of the apartments uh, Jews out of Sarajevo and to take uh, their apartments for, for their soldiers. And he established uh, this concentration camp, uh, 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 Kruščica. This is close to Tau Vitas. And uh, it was a uh, you know, short time. Uh, concentration camp just two months, but uh, during these two months uh, they actually put it more than uh, 3,000 Jews in one small place, and uh, they uh, rape women. They uh, they actually they didn't they have a problem uh, with the food uh, and and so you know how it was in, in many other concentration camps. Not to talk uh, too much about it. I know that the Jewish community. 
sent uh, many uh, trucks uh, with the food, but uh, this food was, uh, after a few days, uh, was sold on the market close uh, to the concentration camp. This actually happened uh, uh, immediately. Uh, uh, Ustas and our independent state of uh, Croatia are starting to build a new uh, concentration camp in Croatia, uh, known like Jasenovac. And Jasenovac is one of the worst concentration camps uh, in uh, in Europe, uh, not uh, because of the of number of killing people there. Uh, because of a very cruel way of killing. And uh, uh, there is uh, some uh, letter from some uh, German commander that uh, visited the uh, uh, concentration camp Yasuno, I think he said, uh, it was uh, uh, what I did, it was too cruel just for me. And uh, uh, but uh, but the people uh, uh, of uh, of Croatia they lived all around the concentration camp Jasenovac. They nobody tried to help Jews uh, during the World War Two. During the, you know the, this uh, concentration camp was uh, until the end of the of the war. Actually, uh, the last uh, prisoner was. Uh, uh, was killed after uh, after 22nd April 1945. Uh, you know that uh, you know parts of Europe was uh, liberated in the meantime, and uh, on 22nd uh, April uh, Jews uh, decided to to go out from uh, from uh, from Yasenovac, and they actually attacked uh, soldiers in uh, and they. Uh, and the group of them uh, uh, ran away from uh, Yasenovac. And just, uh, unfortunately, just uh, about uh, 90 people survived. Uh, I made a few interviews uh, with uh, some of them. And there is no one uh, of the Jews who is, uh, who is uh, high, uh, in alive today. Uh, last day, uh, uh, year ago in uh, in uh, Croatia in Split, he was uh, 95 years old. Uh, uh, I want to tell you that uh, that after this uh, first uh, concentration camp in September in Krušica, uh, in just uh, 15 days they took uh, 3,000 people to this concentration camp. And uh, starting to go uh, after this, uh, uh, all groups to, they sent to Yasenovac or some other small concentration camps around Yasenovac. And uh, uh, we have just uh, in the beginning of 1942, about less than 2,000 Jews stay in Sarajevo. And all others were sent to concentration camps. And uh, they sent, uh, after this, they sent uh, small groups to, to Yasenovac or some other concentration camps. And uh, uh, in uh, August uh, 1942, we have a case that uh, uh, Germany, together with the independent state of Croatia, organized many transports, five transports actually, from uh, Yugoslavia, from Croatia. And they, uh, uh, the idea is uh, to take all Jews from Yugoslavia, for the space of Kingdom Yugoslavia, to Auschwitz. And uh, actually, it was a case that uh, last 1,000 Jews were taken by, by train to one small uh, concentration camp, uh, Lobograd, in Croatia, and from then, from some station, Zlatar is the name, taken to the Auschwitz. And just uh, uh, all were uh, automatically uh, were killed in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in Auschwitz, in gas chambers. And just 70 stay alive uh, means that they helped them in, in many uh, labors, uh, labors in, in the Auschwitz. And just of them, just uh, three survived of 70. Uh, 
But uh, this is a story how, how actually uh, finished the story with the Jews in Sarajevo. In Sarajevo stayed just one small group, about uh, 120 Jews. They were hired uh, uh, by neighbors or they were in some uh, uh, offices. Uh, they need to Ustasha's uh, government uh, to lead some, some uh, special uh, uh, company or something, or they were doctors or, or pharmacists, and because of that uh, they, they were protected. Uh, it, uh, it was, uh, I said, uh, August uh, 1942. In September 1942, uh, uh, and the NDH uh, independent state of Croatia uh, decided to put a new exhibition about the Jews. Uh, actually, they tried to to hide what they did during this uh, last year and why they took all Jews to concentration camps. And they organized a special uh, illustrator. He made ex this exhibition. And this exhibition was about, uh, not just uh, about uh, Bo uh, Yugoslavia, Croatia, Bosnia, Jews, it was about Judaism. About, uh, and they took uh, actually parts from Talmud, and you know, from these parts, they actually said how, how actually Jews think about others, how they hated them, how, what they did to them, and how they behavior to them. Actually, uh, this illustrator uh, uh, made this exhibition, but he prepared, uh, he made uh, uh, this uh, with, uh, by help of some priests who translated from Hebrew or, or from Germany uh, parts of Talmud. And uh, at the end, uh, uh, he made movies about it. And this is the first time that we, that we have a movie uh, about how it was made an exhibition about uh, about uh, uh, Jews during World War II. It's not a new uh, story about uh, you know a particular some some Jewish uh, Jews or Jewish uh, community. This is actually uh, talk about us uh, to us uh, how they think uh, how to present Jews. How what they are, how they are, what they did, and everything you know through Talmud, like a special Jewish book. And uh, actually, it was a very uh, many people uh, came to see this exhibition, but uh, the government of uh, independent state of Croatia they supported them to come. They actually, if you are not uh, from Sarajevo. You will come by train, and you, uh, we will pay you tickets for the train to come. And after the exhibition, you can go to, to the cinema to see some movie. And because of it, many people come all around Bosnia to see this exhibition. And, uh, uh, to, uh, and uh, they actually announced in, in, uh, in the newspaper how many people came every day to see this exhibition, how it's a, a great interest for this exhibition. Actually, we know what, what's true, but uh, many people actually uh, were uh, uh, on this exhibition. In, in the same time, in Serbia, had, uh, actually uh, the government of Serbia, they actually put some uh, new exhibition against Jews, and uh, the, uh, the title of the exhibition was Masons. And Muslims were Jews, and they actually uh, they don't make so sophisticately like uh, like Croats, you know, through Talmud and so. But they actually uh, through the stories about Muslims and uh, how it's dangerous and so, they uh, they try to explain what actually Jews during uh, uh, did during the history. They actually printed. Uh, 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 stamps, special stamps such as, uh, uh, about this exhibition and uh, with a golden press and something, you know, that uh, they were sold on very, 
and very, uh, it was very expensive, serious. Okay, but what happened to the Jews uh, during World War II? We know about destiny that uh, uh, Ustashas and the Germans take Jews to the concentration camps. And what happened with the others? Because uh, we know that uh, uh, survived in Sarajevo, in Bosnia, about 65, uh, sorry, survived about 35% of Jews of Bosnia. And uh, most of them, they were from Sarajevo. Why? Because in Sarajevo they came first, they have uh, the best relations with the people of Sarajevo. And in comparison to Belgrade, that uh, survived just 10% uh, of Jewish populations, or Zagreb, Croatia, that survived just 5% of populations, we know that actually they survived because, uh, by help of their neighbors and friends, and uh, how they help them. They help them on the way that they, uh, uh, first of all, uh, care about them to, to, uh, to get a special permit from uh, exit from Sarajevo, Auschwitz, and uh, uh, many, many Muslims went to the, uh, to the uh, uh, special office for, uh, for, uh, the per for permits, and uh, they took uh, these permits on his own name. And after a Jews uh, changed a photo in this, uh, in this permit, Auschwitz, and they left Sarajevo like Muslims. Uh, they left Sarajevo like Muslims, a uh, woman uh, with a burqa, and the man on the fe with a fess on his uh, head. And uh, it was impressive. Uh, for instance, uh, they are trying to get uh, uh, some, some name uh, similar to uh, original Jewish name. For instance, my uncle left Sarajevo. Uh, his name is Edward Tauber. And he uh, left Sarajevo like Edhem uh, Tabakovic. As you know, the Adham, the short name of the Adham is Edo, actually like Edward. And uh, if somebody say Edo, he knows uh, this is the same because he's, uh, you know, on this outside, he's uh, Edward, uh, Adham. And so, uh, this is uh, uh, very interesting uh, because uh, they're starting uh, to think how to leave Sarajevo, how to find uh, not just Muslims in Sarajevo, or most of them because they were uh, mostly population in Sarajevo, but uh, uh, there are others. Uh, for instance, uh, my mother was saved by one Catholic uh, woman from Mostar in Herzegovina. She was uh, in very good uh, relationship with uh, some Jew in Mostar, and he, he, uh, he was uh, ready to help Jews uh, to bring them from Sarajevo to Mostar. She went, I don't know, uh, five or six times to Sarajevo from Mostar to take uh, all, every, uh, each time one of, the, of the, my family to, to Mostar. And in Mostar were Italian occupation army. And Italian occupation army, they are actually trying to save Jews from Ustashas, also were Ustashas, but they, they are trying to save Jews, Ustashas from Ustashas uh, Jews, and they, they were very good in this. And uh, actually until 1940, uh, 42, October 1942, and they saw in the, the, the situation is starting to be worse. And they decided to take all, because Italian, they were not just in Herzegovina, they were all Adriatic Sea, Adriatic coasts. And uh, they decided to take all Jews from Adriatic coast and from Mostar on islands on the on Adriatic, uh, Adriatic Sea. They were uh, on this island until uh, uh, April 93, 1943. And after this, uh, uh, Italian, uh, they organized a new concentration camp on the, on the island Rab, and they took all, about 4,000 Jews, most of them were from Bosnia, all 4,000 Jews from the island to island Rab. They were in Rab, uh, in this concentration camp, actually it was a, it was a, a concentration camp uh, because uh, they were in, in one closed place, but actually, they were uh, they weren't uh, killing or raping or nothing. They were in uh, in, uh, in a very good uh, situation because American Jews paid 
for every Bosnian Jew one dollar per day. And because of it, they actually survived this period until September 1943. And uh, uh, it was a moment that uh, uh, it was a capitulation of Italy in the 8th, 8th of September 1943. And all Jews, almost all Jews, uh, went to partisans. Or they went to or some other uh, camp uh, Al Shat in Egypt, and they survived on this way. A small group, about 100 Jews, stay on island Rab because they were or ill or, or ill or old, or they didn't want to to go anywhere from from this island. It was a good, you know, to be uh, uh, on seaside uh, during the war, and nobody touched them until. Uh, uh, 1944, that German came on the island Rab, uh, Rab and they took all 100 people to through, through Thirst, Italy, to the concentration camp Auschwitz and killed all, all these 100 people. Uh, during the war, many Jews, uh, from the beginning, they were in partisans. And uh, they, uh, we know that uh, we have uh, more than a uh, thousand Jews from Sarajevo, they were in partisans. Many of them were killed at the beginning of the war because they didn't know how to, you know, to go to the battle, how to go with, uh, with uh, all uh, weapons. But uh, uh, some of the, uh, but others from 1943, uh, many of them, they survived. Unfortunately, my, my uncle was, uh, one of them that died in one battle. Uh, we are actually talking that uh, after uh, this uh, situation uh, where uh, Jews uh, living, uh, were in Sarajevo, uh, they were uh, almost everyone was, was a religious Jew. They have a very strong communities two communities, Ashkenazi and Sephardic community. But uh, after World War II, uh, they back uh, uh, a number that survived um, back to Sarajevo, and they decided to make uh, uh, just one Jewish community, not Sephardic, not Ashkenazi Jewish community. And uh, only one place they, they decided to continue uh, with uh, their service uh, prayer, it was the Ashkenazi synagogue. Others were destroyed during World War II uh, or were in very bad conditions. And uh, what's impressive here, because most of Jews that survived were Sephardic Jews. Uh, I think because of this, what i uh, talking about, what happened uh, uh, with the Jews, uh, Sephardic Jews, and their relations with the others good relations because of, of, of this many Sephardic Jews survived. And uh, uh, we have uh, now, uh, in this moment, and uh, it was also after World War II, it was that uh, Jews in Sarajevo, in Ashkenazi synagogue, uh, they uh, pray on Sephardic way. Uh, this is, this is uh, very interesting. And uh, this is something I, that I want to mention that not connected uh, with the war, but this is connected with the war, but it's connected, first of all, with the uh, with, uh, uh, relation with the Jews and, and uh, Muslim, Muslims, but it's very important to know about the Jewish community of Sarajevo, about Jews, how we live, to, live today, and uh, uh, that we have no any pressure any pressure uh, with the local populations. Today in Sarajevo is about uh, 90% uh, are Muslims. And uh, nobody protect us. We have no policemen, we have no guard, no, no tanks, not, you know, not uh, concrete uh, cubes uh, in front of a community. And uh, usually uh, the door of the Jewish community of Sarajevo is open, especially on the, on the summer because of fresh air. And, uh, and second thing, uh, we, uh, 
we are very uh, connected with the other religious in multi-religious life. We have a special uh, um, inter-religious uh, inter uh, board. And the president of Jewish community of Bosnia is a member of this uh, board, uh, equal member. And uh, every, one, every two years, he is the president of this, this uh, board. And we are very proud that uh, uh, we have uh, some special, uh, special, we, we say, VIP uh, Passover. A VIP Passover is a, is a moment that we invited every, uh, every people from every community, you know, leaders of, commu of, Jew of a different religious community. And also president, uh, people from the presidency of Bosnia, politicians, some politicians, and our friends to come to celebrate Passover together with us. It's, you know, it's symbolic, it's not uh, really sadder, but this is a symbolic uh, way that connections with the, with the others. They actually, we also go in uh, on the similar uh, celebration of uh, Easter uh, or some other, uh, of Bayram or some other uh, holidays of, of the other uh, religious, but this is not the same because here we are sitting to be together. This is not, you know, different. Uh, each one can come, goes, and uh, to talk with the people. We organize that uh, uh, priest and imam and rabbi and sits for with uh, on the same table and talks and eat together, and he, Rabbi explained to them why we eat something, why we do this or this way, and so. And uh, the end, that's what happened uh, in uh, 1819, that uh, Jews uh, were saved by Muslim. We want to commemorate, and uh, you will see on this exhibition, that uh, in the next two years we prepare common commemoration for, on this uh, Purim, Sarajevo's Purim, that we want to uh, commemorate together because uh, we know that uh, this is not just, the, this Sarajevo's Purim not belong just to Jews and not just to Muslim, you know, they saved us because uh, this is what happened, this is a unique and we want to uh, continue to talk about it, to, uh, to prepare, uh, everything for this to make a deep research in many archives all around uh, the Europe and to make uh, some monography, some movies, some uh, panels or a uh, round table about it because we want to stay this me memory on this Sarajevo's Purim. Mm -hmm.